guys, so today I thought I'd talk a little bit more about the new Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream, which came out recently. I mentioned it in a first impressions video along with a lot of other new K-Beauty products, but this one, since I love Claire's a lot, I thought I'd talk about this one a little bit more. Claire's currently for the year is sitting 50-50 with me. Their uh, sunscreen, which I was really excited about, ended up being kind of a bummer. Their new midnight blue sunscreen cream, too much scent. But this one, they kind of have redeemed themselves and totally redeemed yourself. Okay, so this one's got a lot of good things in it. It does have a, I would say, a liquidy gel texture to it. I really wish they would have opted for an airless jar or a squeeze tube or a pump bottle or anything almost other than this. Because uh, this is unfortunate with some of the good ingredients. And you can see the texture of it is a nice liquidy gel cream, which does uh, set to kind of a radiant finish, I would say. So, there you go. I have found now, testing this quite a bit, for me, with my dry skin, even though I have rather dry skin, it just works better in my evening routine uh, because it does have a bit of occlusive properties to it. I've found using it in my morning routine when I'm going to apply sunscreen after it and foundation after it and powder and whatever else that it just doesn't set fast enough and sometimes with certain sunscreens it can cause it to pill a bit. So some of that has to do with the sunscreen obviously. Some of it probably has to do with this moisturizer. So I have found using it in my evening routine is just much easier. I like to use it towards the end of the routine and then um, it just layers better that way. I just found in the morning a little bit sealing too much in especially when you're going to apply sunscreen and things like that after it. But it does have a host of really good ingredients. However, if you have very acne prone skin, I would uh, recommend just being a little bit cautious with it because there are a few ingredients which are uh, acneogenic and uh, so we've got green tea water and then we've got uh, some slip ingredients hibiscus is in there then we've got green tea extract which is really nice uh, we've got a little bit of mugwort extract in here then we've got centella asiatic which I'm absolutely loving rosemary extract rosemary extract is good rosemary oil not good extract good oil not good um, and then we've got some ceramides, vitamin E, which can be a bit questionable for acne prone skin, sunflower seed oil, jojaba, esters, and then uh, some other uh, slip ingredients. But no fragrance and no alcohol that you should be uh, concerned about. But here it is. Can you see it in the reflection? Even after it's been soaking on my super dry hand for a couple minutes now, it just takes a while to really soak in and it really can be a bit occlusive, which I don't know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but for something you're gonna try and use in your morning routine, I don't think I would plan on doing that. However, maybe for super dry skin this winter, it could be a total winner. I'm not sure, it's like 95 degrees here today with the humidity of like 70, so. We're not there yet, but I'll certainly test in the winter. I just wish they would have gone for something a little bit different than the jar, but I get it. Companies like the jars, they're affordable, they can produce them quickly and more cheaply than probably other packaging. So, And the price of this is pretty affordable, although I recommend shopping around before you pick it up because you can usually get it cheaper somewhere else. So that's just something else to keep in mind. But so far, I'm really enjoying this. It's a great addi addi addition, addiction to the fundamental family. And I expect to see probably some more. I don't know. We've got the mist. We've got the ampule. We've got the eye. We'll see what else they come up with. But maybe a fundamental sunscreen that's fragrance-free, Claire's. We want fragrance-free sunscreen. Or very, very light fragrance. Anyway. Okay, I digress. So anyway, those are my... Thorough first impressions. I'll certainly do a full review if you guys want it in a, about a month. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys uh, what your thoughts are, if you've had a chance to try this. And uh, be sure to Friday, tomorrow, to check out the Sunscreen Zinc Versus series. And then after that, I've got a fun, fun K-Beauty Moisturizer Versus series that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. But anyway.
right, those are my thoughts. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, and thank you so much.